Hey there. Thanks. I'm fine. Hi, Sam. Hi, Greg. Um, I have some weird stuff going on in my skin. It's okay. all on the right shoulder in the front on the skin. Okay. Just And it's like five different kinds of skin things. It's nothing that's all the same. So the one that I'm most concerned about, and I actually put it on the um, Facebook page, was it's, you know, looks like like a precancerous little black mole or something and somebody suggested frankincense and i wanted to see what you had to say about that yeah you know there was information that was floating around about frankincense being good for precancerous and cancerous conditions but the the frankincense was actually what they were looking at um you know people started saying that and they were they were citing the study and the study was actually they were studying um boswellic acid, which is not present in the essential oil of, of frankincense. Oh. Um, it's only in an alcohol um, extraction. And they weren't quite sure that um, it was actually producing a result. They were, it was just being looked at, right? And so, um, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but at the same time, um, I, I, I mean, I've seen it work a few times. The one that I actually see work kind of consistently for things like that has been orange oil. Oh. And, um, you know, I never say like, oh, this is going to be the treatment for it. But, you know, if you're if you're having it evaluated and, and looked at and you're watching it, I mean, uh, the doc can see if it's getting, you know, worse or better. I mean, you can kind of see it visually sometimes but you never know if there's like roots going down and so um i've had several people you know we we have them put the orange oil on a q-tip and then like you know swab the whole area and the reason like if you get it on your on your fingers you know the you know it's just a citrus but it can kind of like burn and sting a little bit and so um put it, you know, really soak the end of a Q-tip and then just rub it on the spot. And you could do it a couple times a week. I mean, a couple times a day. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we've had it to where it actually got evaluated by a skin doctor and then they went back and then the skin doctor verified that it was gone, you know? Um, right. And so um, if it's a skin tag, um, you know, you know, like skin tags are like those little things that kind of pop it, up and it's not a little, tag. it's not a skin tag. No. <clears throat> then try the, the orange oil. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, that's just one little thing. I just feel like there's something going on with my skin on that one part of my body. And I've been putting helichrysum on it as well. because Helichrysum is good. One, one thing that, so there's a couple other things that you could do. So um, one is um, sp spikenard is really um, nurturing to the skin and balances out all different kinds of skin types. Mm -hmm. And when there is skin irritations that have gotten really aggravated, mm -hmm. uh, spikenard can be very helpful for that. Um, it doesn't always nail it. I mean, sk skin can be really uh, tricky to treat. And so, um, Spike nerd could be one. And then another one that I like to use sometimes, like in a situation like this, is um, uh, calendula. And, um, uh, you know, the calendula that we have, it's like a, it's kind of thick, it's a CO2. And so I can make it into like a little ointment for you rather than you having to mess with it. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, because it's like thick and sticky and like, you know, even if you have it in a bottle and you turn it upside down, it doesn't come out very much. Like it's, uh -huh. it's, you know, it's a CO2. CO2 sometimes come out, you know, CO2 just basically breaks down the physical matter, but it doesn't mean that it's still not like a solid, almost like a resin. And the CO2 of the calendula is a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I use it a lot with, um, like really severe skin irritations and like when people have um, uh, radiation, you know, like after ke like chemo and radiation and things like that, the radiation spots will have like burns. And so like I'll kind of 
work them through like using lavender for a little bit for the for the the burn site and then you know kind of lavender and helichrysum and then you know like after a little bit of time we start working towards the calendula and um um it seems to knock that kind of stuff out and so anytime that the skin is like irritated agitated inflamed um you know lavender works roman chamomile can work spikenard is very good and the calendula is really good i mean the thing with calendula is it's one of the primary things that calendula does is just good for the skin you know it's just really super good for the skin great I would yeah. love it if you would make it into a cream and yeah. yeah. Um we'll we'll write it down, but maybe send us a text just to remind yeah. us because you know by the time the night's over, I'll probably forget. Right. In right. fact, I'll almost depend on that I'll forget. <laughs> so <laughs> send send me um send me a, a you know a message to Sam or an email or something. And okay. I, I can make that for you right off the bat in the morning. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I have all the you know calendula and all that. Okay, great. So, Thanks yeah. so much. You're so welcome. Okay. And, and keep me posted on that. And yeah. Um, yeah. I will. Try try the orange oil on that spot too. Okay. Right? It's just yeah. it's been it's so hard to get an appointment with a dermatologist. I yeah. had a, like I'm waiting yeah. two months. So I'm yeah. like, oh, let me see what I can do in the meantime. So yeah. I'm just self-diagnosing and. Self uh, yeah, uh, hey, like I, I hear you. Like you <laughs> know, like when I was young, I didn't really think any, anything of it, and now I'm always like looking at my skin. Like I remember that dot being there, and I don't remember, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like I, I uh, it was I don't know several years ago, but I went in and saw a doctor, and you know, just had him look at the skin a little bit, and I mean, he caught like. 50 or 60 things off of me and I go I didn't realize I was that bad and he was like I didn't even do your whole body I just did the upper part I was like wow you know it wasn't it wasn't precancerous stuff it was just like little like skin tags and little weird molds and you know yeah, yeah. you know yeah well I'd be curious to see what the dermatologist I, I'm, like. I'm curious do, do you have like little red dots in the area no no okay I, and none on your arms or anything like that? No, on my arms, I just have the usual stuff that's the, that's the dermatologist has always said, oh, that's fine. That's a, but no, I just, you know, little like aging spots, but this is. Yeah, like, like the little brown spots, like they, yeah. I think they call them like liver spots. Yeah. So sometimes if you, uh, like you can't do this and go out in the sun, but like if you, again, dip this in um, a lemon oil in a Q-tip, and mm -hmm. rub it on the the dark, you know, the the dark spots or the brown spots. Uh -huh. um, you know what they call liver spots or age spots or something. Uh -huh. If you do that uh, over a period of time, a lot of times those will go away. Uh huh. But if you go out in the sun and you have that lemon oil on, it turns it like darker. Like it's like you have to like keep it covered and not be in the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so yeah. Okay. I, I saw this one case where. I, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen somebody do this um, other than this one person, but um, it did seem to work. But you know how like sometimes on water filters, they'll they'll filter the water and they'll make the water really super alkaline. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's water filters where they can make the water really acidic or they're purifying off the water and there's some acidic water left over that acidic water they were putting on the brown spots and it made it go away kind of quick. I, I was actually kind of surprised by it, but um, I've never seen anybody else ever do that. And I don't even know how you would get acidic water, mm -hmm. but you okay. know. I'm not that attached to the brown spots. Too. Yeah. I'm just more yeah. like concerned about the ones that are just all the yeah. stuff. I, I, I'm with you on that one. For yeah. my beauty, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're so welcome. And the follow up um, was what is best for skin tags? Oh, skin tags, um, the, the very best thing to do is to put um, thuja, uh, thuja on them, um, like one to two times a day. And within um, usually about 10 days to two weeks, they'll just fall off. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it takes longer, especially if they get kind of big. Um, 
we did that with yours and like it, but we also, one of the other things to do is to take like, um, like, uh, like dental floss or something and make like a little loop. And then you can kind of tie um, the, the dental floss around the, the skin tag. The, the only issue that I'll say about that is sometimes it irritates the skin tag and it will like inflame up and fill with blood a little bit more before it falls off. Usually the Thuja just um, dries it out and it falls off. And so it takes a little bit longer than doing it with the, the dental floss, but um, it, it does work. Yeah. Tea tree can also work. Uh, tea tree takes longer. Thuja will dry it out the fastest. Thuja also works on warts too, by the way. Same application? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Greg? Yes, yes. Regarding the Thuja, how far do you need to keep that from your eyes? If it's close to your eyes, I probably wouldn't do it. Yeah. Like, how, how close to your eyes is it? Um, pretty close. And I probably wouldn't do it. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah. It, um, I mean, anytime you get an oil in your eye, it's a little bit irritating, but Thuja would be more than normally irritating, you That's know, so, because I have a couple of little ones by my eye and I just like, eh, I don't even let the doctor touch them. Like, I don't want anybody that close to my eyes. Got it. You know, Thanks. and so like, if it gets really big, you can have, you know, the doc, like just, it, it it's um, a really simple little procedure. I mean, they just get in there and just like kind of, clip it off, but um, yeah, I, I wouldn't put $1,300. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. 